Hello buddies, I'm Hugo. In this video, I would like to have a quick review on this Ryzen 5300G 4-core CPU. Actually, this final edition of AMD Ryzen 3 5300G has already available in the Chinese market in June. As could be seen from AMD's official website, it still doesn't plan to supply this to retail market. For the Tax Manager CPU name 5300NG with Radeon graphics, also 8 individual threads charts, basic speed 4GHz. The 64G RAM enables XXMP running at 3200 speed. SSD, the 90 Pro. I have to highlight again the 5000 series APU doesn't support a PCIe Gen 4 SSD. The Core GPU, Radeon Graphics, it shares almost half of the RAM for mainboard. Core temperature is pretty cool, let's talk about it later. Alright, check in the CPU Z for more detailed info. The CPU name 5300G is correctly identified as well as the codename Zizen. Also, the 7 nanometer structure, core voltage, oh, that's pretty low. Stepping is zero, I guess it is the first batch. CPU Z is being updated to the latest version. Core stress, core speed, or correct. Caches, mainboard. Remember this, upgrade your BIOS to the latest version. Otherwise, your mainboard may out of any video output. RAM info, dual channel, XMP is enabled. SPD, graphics, revision is CA. That's a little bit confused to me because the previous engineering samples revision is CD. Would that be a kind of a downgrade? Whatever, let's move on benchmark testing. Actually, such testing I will proceed for 5 times at least and get an average score. The single thread score is less than 600 and the overall is nothing surprised. Still, compares with previous generation, 4350NG, its improvement is remarkable. Just like the single thread score, the 5300NG has over 15% advantages. Similarly, in multi-thread comparison, this lead remains the same. Just like a routine work, let's have a look at the freeze benchmark. To prevent individual error, the result is from 5 times getting an average score. I won't be surprised that 5300NG also remains 15% faster, just to be referenced from the CPU-Z one not testing. As traditional rendering test, we ought to run the Cinebench R15 for 10 continuous times. By the way, the testing result is very close to the 5300G engineering sample. Besides of this, I really feel confused why it could run close to 20% faster compared with its former generation. Every time when I proceed to the 3D mark, I feel it's quite tedious. With all due respect, all these episodes are pretty lag if it applies on any kind of APU. However, the outcome of the result always let me feel satisfied. Say for example, the graphics score is over 1100 and the CPU score is over 5000. Battlefield 5 less than 30 FPS in 2K resolution. I'm pretty sure no one will play this on the 2K resolution by an APU. Switch back to 1080p resolution, the FPS is over 30 FPS. Unfortunately, in high quality texture 1080p resolution, the FPS is barely 29 in average. That's so called estimated performance as I even didn't set the texture as ultra. When I drive the Greyhound across the bush, the lag of the screen is significant. So what if I downgrade the texture as medium level? I won't be considered this as compromise, but the FPS, let's see, it really boosts to 30 or above. Indeed, that's the minimum requirements for most hardcore players. 
Of course, it also makes me feel more confident rush to the front battle. Personally, I prefer to set as low quality as I think APU is more suitable for this loading or say designed for this kind of application environment. Especially, the integrated graphics of 5300G is not as top level of the coming 5000 series. As it only has 6 GPU cores, while the 5700G has 8. Just as mentioned, even without a high-end graphic card, my kit in this round is close to 50. Still, it is not my highest record, which is uh, 104. By the way, let's check back the GPU-Z to see how cooling the APU is. Let me switch all temperature-related options as the maximum value. See, only 48 Celsius, that's the highest temperature. And we have a look on the SOC. The highest temperature is 43. Compares with this great graphics, this thermal performance is truly amazing. Alright, one more section, the severe temperature. The highest temperature is 58. Well, I just have no idea why the CPU and GPU fabricate in one single fingernail size wafer. But the temperature could have more than 10 degrees difference. Alright, in Battlefield 4 testing, similarly, the graphics quality is set as low, mid, and high. With this over 7 years ago first person shooter game, even this entry level APU could well handle it as high quality, in 1080p resolution. Not just from my personal experience, the gaming performance of APU is highly oriented by the RAM frequency. That's why I marked the 3200 speed here. If you try to run on 4000s or higher, like 4200, the FPS will boost significantly higher without a shadow of doubt. As a regular final procedure, the stress testing of CPU and GPU is also applied. From the result of ADA64, the highest temperature is 58 Celsius, right the same as GPU-Z sensors previously. That proves the results of thermal control is perfect and more convincing. Okay, there is always one more thing. Not just compares with former generation, let me check how exactly the progress of 5300G engineering sample. Generally speaking, the overall improvement is around 3%. Here I emphasize such difference is not as error, but tested in exactly the same platform and circumstance.